Good morning, it's Tuesday. Now, today I'm really hopeful that my internet is going to be better and that I will be able to meet with you on Teams at 10 o'clock, hopefully without it going wrong. And also today, our maths number is the number seven. And I always think about the days of the week when I think about the number seven and also about rainbows. And it makes me think of this book. This book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar and it's a very popular book with teachers because it teaches you about the days of the week. So let's read it together. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two Pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. <gasps> On Sunday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. I should think so, you greedy little caterpillar. The next day was Sunday again. And the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. <sighs> now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow. Now, I have an idea today. In our maths today, you are given the challenge of making your own rainbow and writing the days of the week in the rainbow. Now, today, I thought we could try and write our own poems. And the type of poem that we're going to write is a listing poem. So it doesn't have to rhyme, but it's a special way of writing a poem. And they are really beautiful when we finish them. And we're going to write a poem with the title, A Recipe for a Rainbow. And in order to do this, we're going to need to think about the seven colours of the rainbow. Now, I find indigo and violet are quite difficult colours for us to understand, because not many of us know the words indigo and violet. So I have changed their names to purple and pink. And what I'm going to do, is I'm going to try and think of something that is each of these colours. So we're going to have red tomatoes. Tomatoes. I'm going to have orange carrots. To have yellow sunshine.
green leaves. Blue. Hmm. Blue. I'm going to have blue. I don't want blue sky. I think that's a bit too obvious. My car is blue. Very nice car. Uh, blue. I'm not going to have my car because I don't think that's very interesting. I'm going to have a blue race car. Race car. Purple. I love purple grapes. Purple grapes. And pink. I'm going to be a bit creative on pink and I'm going to say the hair from a unicorn's tail. The hair from a unicorn's Now the other thing that I need is seven ways of measuring something. So I might have a pinch of, a pinch of, I might have a scoop of, a handful. A spoonful of a pinch of, a scoop of, a handful of, a spoonful of. Uh, I might have a cup of I might have one and Sprinkle with. Now, let's see if I can tell you a poem from all of these things that I've written on this whiteboard. Are you ready? A recipe for a rainbow. To make your shimmering, shining rainbow, you will need a cup of red tomatoes, a handful of delicious orange carrots, a pinch of warming sunshine from a summer's day, a spoonful of fresh springtime leaves, one gleaming blue race car, a scoop of purple grapes, sprinkle with hair from a unicorn's tail, sing a happy song, hug a loved one and look to the sky. You will find Isn't that lovely? I want to hear your amazing recipes for rainbows.